Hi everyone, Amy here from Amy's Planner and welcome back to my channel. I have here my Christmas present to myself um, and it is from Stationery Pal and the box is so big I actually can't fit it in frame. Like the way my camera is set up, it, it will not fit. It is massive. Um, before I open it, let me give you some background. Um, every year I buy myself a box of planner goodies. For the last two years it has been from... Um, washi gang when I was having a look at their website there was nothing that really pulled my interest um, they've got lots of happy planner stuff which is fantastic not suiting me at the moment um, they have lots of different planners and that sort of stuff but they're all a bit big for me and you will have seen that I am using a pocket size planner for next year and it just didn't seem to fit and when I was looking at different places that sell planner goodies. I remembered that I had seen a couple of Stationery Pal unboxings on YouTube. Um, to be specific, I've seen Jashi Corrin's, but I've also seen uh, Rachel Beauty Plans and they are both amazing, um, you know, planners and that sort of stuff in their own ways. And they have both um, reviewed Stationery Pal. So I thought, you know, pretty safe there. Um, so during the Black Friday sale, I went on and I got a whole lot of stuff um, that was between 18% off and like 68% off in between. Um, and so I have a lot of stuff. I don't have as much as I originally had in my cart. I was doing some window shopping I'm like, oh yeah, let's just have a look. And I looked at my total and went, ooh, plus postage. Postage to Australia is expensive. I will put that out there. Um, so I know that other YouTubers who have done Stationery Pal unboxings have been gifted theirs. I have not. I purchased mine. So absolutely, completely honest in this. But also, um, you know, I'm not supported by other people. So, you know, when I buy stuff, I'm buying it for me. So it's my money. So I'm a bit careful with it. Um, and so shipping to Australia is a lot. Like $50 to ship this to Australia. In its defense, it is big. Like, it's, it's quite a big box, and it's quite heavy. Um, I threw out the plastic, told me how much it weighed. Not my finest moment. But anyway. Um, so, yes, every year I buy myself a box of planner goodies as my present to myself. Um, so, yeah, let's, uh, let's get in to it. I am just going to open it up. Like, I'm knocking lights and everything. That's how big the box is. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move it to the side and then bring different things into the shot. But I'm just going to open it up with you. Uh, there's no way for me to open this without tearing the sticker. So unfortunately, this very cute stationary pal um, Santa sticker, tree sticker is ripped. Oh my gosh, look at all this stuff. Um, I got a little bear. I didn't order the bear. The bear came with and it's got a little squished face. I actually really like that. I like how squished the face is. Um, I don't know if you can tell, like it's kind of got a... Bit of a squish. It's very cute. Hello, bear. Um, I've got a thank you card um, with my name on it. Oh, dear Amy. Awesome. Lovely. So cool. Definitely going to uh, put that up on my wall. One day you'll get a photo of my wall. Um, This is very cute. This is a little business card size uh, platter card that says, I'll always support you and hold you tight. And it's a, like a paper clip, like a, I don't know what they call them when they're not bulldog clips. It's like that though. Like it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Look at all this stuff. Um, paper and confetti. I'm going to, hang on. I'm going to grab my bin so I can put it whoop, straight in. Um, when I grabbed the bin over to pull everything in, I grabbed out my, uh, my uh, wrapping from this and it was 1.78 kilos which explains why shipping was so expensive um oh my gosh look at all this stuff like the box is fully packed i know i've got a lot of stuff but like oh my gosh just having a little poke through oh ooh, that's the bag i know i bought a bag for oh, look at all this okay okay um what i'm gonna do is i'm going to shove it to the side. Ooh, move my scissors. I know my scissors are for once, which is good because I imagine that I'm going to need them. Uh, and open up the box so I can get to it. And let's get started with this. This is a bag. Um, it's a corduroy. I'm not sure what they called it in the 
on the website, but it is a bag. Uh, it is not quite as big as I thought it would be. The straps aren't quite as long, but um, cool. that's got a magnet and that's got a clicky snap thing. So you can definitely open it all the way. Hang on. And when you open it up, it definitely would be big enough for a laptop um, and a folder or some books. So it would be a great uni bag or work bag. Um, if you didn't want like a, a fancy laptop bag or something, or you didn't want a backpack, it's quite fashionable looking. You can clip these closed, so you can like make it into a handbag sort of thing. Um, it says, you need this one, take care of laundry on it. Don't quite get that, but be a good laundry bag. Uh, could be a good week, or maybe not a weekend bag, but it's really pretty. I love the colour. I'm uh, very much looking forward to it. I think it'll be a great addition to my bag collection. Uh, good library bag for those of you like me who like a good library bag. Uh, the next thing I have is a pack of um, sticky notes. It says Cosmos, they're of the world. Let me bring them up so you can see them. Actually, what I might do, zoom you in a bit. Push that to the side. Okay, so... Uh, they are world sticky notes. I'm just going to pull one off. Um, they're, they're not super sticky, which would probably be good. They won't leave residue. And I've lifted it off the bench a couple of times. It's still a bit sticky. Um, they're very pretty though. So like not the most sticky, sticky notes. They do leave a bit of residue on the one above it. Or sorry, below it. But that being said, still gorgeous. Um, very pretty though. Look at that. Look how pretty they are. Um, I'm not going to tell you the prices of these because I bought them on sale with lots of different little sales, um, that contributed. So I can't actually accurately tell you. I did not buy this bell, but I have a bell. I'm, I'm, I'm being a magpie, aren't I? It's shiny. Um, but if I can, I will link them down below. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to put the bell across with those. All right. Um, and not opening these in any order. I have some washi. I have some celestial washi, which is really cool. Okay. So it's it's a washi on a paperback, which makes it super thin. Um, I'm just going to, I'm not going to pull it off and that. But like, how gorgeous is that? It's got uh, silver. I don't think it's hollow. I think it's just silver. Yeah, silver foiling. Um, that's super gorgeous. I have a couple other celestial washi, so I feel like that's going to be a really great addition to my washi collection. Just seeing if it has anything written on it. Um, it says laser silver, um, and it's 15 mil by five meters. That's it. I don't read, um, Chinese, unfortunately. Um, so I can't tell you any of that, but it's very pretty. Like, I really like it. And even like the wrapping is foiled. Like, how cool is that? Uh, that's going in the bin. So I have a clip with a flower on it. I can tell you it's going to my classroom because like, how cool is that? Uh, that I'm pretty sure was a freebie. So um, I'm going to grab all of these out together because they are all the same product, but in different colors. These are cord, uh, I don't know, cord controllers. That's what I call them anyway. Um, they've got a proper name. But basically, you can take off this backing, stick it to whatever you like, and then run your cords through it, which will be far more effective than what I currently do, which is a black bulldog clip blue tack to the back of my desk, and I've got to, like, yank on everything. This will be far better. Um, so I'm really looking forward to these. I grabbed two in the three in both the mint and like the peachy pink. And then I grabbed two of the fives as well because you never know. And they're really cool and they're very useful and I needed them. Occasionally I buy stuff I need, not just what I want. Um, okay. What have I got next? Oh, I saw this and I had to have it. It's so cute. It is a deck chair or a folding chair phone stand. So it goes like that and your phone sits in it. My phone's not with me at the moment, but like, how cute is that? Like, you, do I have anything phone shaped? Oh, I have phone cases. Hang on. I bought a phone case. So, um, hang on. 
Let me open this. Okay, so I bought this phone case, which is super pretty, um, and it just sits in like that. So if you had like a phone, it would sit up. Um, I'm just gonna hold it up so you can see it. Like it's just, it's a very cool phone stand. Um, if you wanted to put it this way, you probably could charge it at the same time. I just think it's really cute. I think it's really sweet. I think it's quite funny. It's uh, it certainly suits my uh, my humor. Um, it's not the best made thing I've ever seen. Um, it's quite, I wouldn't say it's flimsy, but it doesn't like have anything that clicks it into place. Um, and it has got a chip out of it here. That being said, it's going to sit on my desk to be cute. Um, the bear could sit on it. Um, but yeah, so it's sweet. It's very cool. Um, it was a couple of bucks and so therefore very worth it. Um, so I'm going to put that over there. Give you another look at this phone case. Um, it has a, um, a raised bit where the phone, where the camera sits. So if you drop it, um, the camera itself won't hit the ground. Uh, it's quite soft. Um, I don't think it's going to have much of a lift, uh, sorry, a ridge around. Oh, I might have a bit of one. Um, so it's not like a super protective one, but it's going to be very pretty. I have a pale pink phone, so I think like that with a pale pink underneath it is going to be super cute. Uh, what am I going to do next? I kind of want to leave the pens to last so that I can do a pen test. I have a pack of sticky notes that have like um, memos on it, so title and content, um, which I think would make a really cool um, like reflection or oh, these aren't sticky notes, it's just a notepad. That's cool um good book review film review um like if you want to leave someone a memo it's kind of like an email but like on paper uh you get i think you get 50 sheets i don't know there's a lot so that's cool like that um ooh. oh another phone case i need lots of phone cases as it turns out this one is definitely oh my god look at that glitter Sorry, you get reflections off my light, but that's cool. Um, this one's a bit bulkier than the other ones. I'm just going to show them to compare them. It's got this, like, I wouldn't say it's particularly protective. Again, it's very um, soft, but it's kind of got a bit more of a grip around it. And it's got this, like, oh, oh that is so cool. Look how good that is. Um, it's blues and greens and pinks, and it's very cool i like that a lot actually not what i was going to grab out next um i have a handful of these i don't know where the rest of them are though there's that one there's that one i feel like i got them in every color to be honest these are um glue um uh, glue tape uh, in the brand that i like that is quite difficult to get in australia at the moment uh what else have i did i have any others i don't think so um so they are just dot liners um, they are my preferred brand and they were a couple of dollars each, I think. So definitely worth it. And got a little baby one as well to go on my pencil case. Again, some of these are a bit more practical than others. I've got some washi. Let's see if I can do all the washi together because that would make a bit more sense. A little less cray. You know, I'm good at being cray. Oops. Uh, where's the other one? Okay. I think that's all of them. I'm trying not to show you my hair. It needs a wash. Um, I grabbed a whole lot of grid washi in, whoops, green, fuchsia, blue, like a salmon-y pink, and then a white with an orange, um, an orange grid. And then I grabbed some skinny washi with like blue and red hearts and like a doodle pattern and then some green leaves. And like they match up really nicely. Like you could totally pair them with stuff. Um, they would work quite well by themselves. You could like, I thought they were really cool. They were gorgeous. Um, and I haven't bought washi in a really long time and I decided I needed to supplement my stash a bit. You do get quite a bit on the roll. Like sometimes when you buy washi online or from like any of the, the bulk stationary places, not bulk as in by lots, but as in they sell lots of cheap products. Um, you often don't get a lot. 
um, you get a lot on these rolls. So reasonably sticky. Don't seem to leave a residue on the other side of the tape. Um, very cool. Quite happy with that, actually. Um, check out my Instagram in a couple of mean weeks and you can see like proper swatches and everything. But I don't have anything near me to swatch and I don't want to take up so much of your time. Just going to throw them everywhere. Um, ooh, what's next? Let's do pens. Oh, some of these are freebies. I didn't buy the Santa pens, but they're very cool. I've got more of those somewhere. Just going to try and find all of the pens. There's another one. Um, so I've got some of the Muji click pens um, in 0.5. Now I can do a pen test of this. I'm just going to test them on this paper. Um, hang on. So you can buy Muji pens in Australia from Muji. Uh, my closest Muji is, how far away is Chadston from here? About an hour and 20 minutes. I mean, you can buy them online, but, you know, I like to go and test out my pens. Muji is quite popular at the moment um, in terms of pens and stuff. So I, I grabbed three because I thought, whoops, they were really cute. I thought they would go nicely in my collection. They do have a bit of a smear, like you saw how long ago I wrote that. Everything's in real time. So it does has smeared a little bit, but not hugely. Um, and I was just looking for like some everyday pens. I mean, I absolutely adore these crystal Bix, Bic crystals. Um, but I don't like that you have to take the pen on off because I'm super lazy, but I also don't like them without the pen to travel, like without the lid to travel in my bag or in my pocket or anything. Oops. Um, so I thought like some click pens would be a really nice, you know, stick them in my pocket, can grab them out and do stuff all the time. Um, I do have a pen in like every jacket I own. And in some jackets I have a whiteboard marker as well because as it turns out, I'm just randomly like that. Um, I grabbed some of these, they're like a, a felt tip pen. Um, and this is soft blue. They are very fine tipped. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, so I've got soft blue. Uh, this one is frost green. Uh, I don't think the camera is showing them like color accurate. And this one is Indian pink, which is actually more fluoro than I thought it would be. And not fluoro as in like reflective or like a highlighter or anything like that. Just it reminds me more of like a, um, a pastel fluoro than anything. Um, I think these are going to be great in various planners. Um, I don't think, like, they don't have any um, ghosting, so I think would look fantastic in my pocket planner. Um, I'm tempted to go back and get them in other colours. Um, so they're Monami plus 300. Um, that's all you kind of get on them. You get some information, barcode, and then you get the colour and the name. So the colour code and the name. Um, so very cool. All right, um, these are the freebie pens. I'm going to be honest, they look super tacky. Um, they look super cheap. Um, they're like just cheap plastic. And I had real difficulty getting the red waxy bit off the end. I feel like they're going to be gel pens. They've got a little like um, stick on. That one's got a, a snowman. That one's got a Santa Claus. Uh, let's have a look. They are black. Whoopsies. I probably guess that they are a 0.7 or a 0.8. They're identical. Um, I'm surprised that they're not just a ballpoint pen, to be honest. Um, they're not something I'm going to add to my collection, but they're very cute. And I've got students who will love them. Um, and my last one is one that I'm super excited about. I've wanted to try one of these for ages. This is a Zig Clean Color Dot pen in Peach Bliss. 
um, which is the only color they had available. And it is super cute. Um, it is quite juicy, quite wet. Um, and it is definitely a pink peach, not a pink. It's definitely more orange than pink. Um, that being said, I think it is super cute. I am very much liking that. You can see where I had a little bit of an incident with the pen. No issues there. Um, very much, very much excited to have one of those. Um, I kind of now want them in every color. Maybe not every color. I'd like an actual pink, like a rosy colored pink. Maybe a blue. Or actually, these three colors would suit me perfectly fine, actually. Um, those muted colors would be cool. Um, so that's my pen test. Oh, I should show you if there is any bleed. No, no bleed. Um, I would say probably a little bit of ghosting, but that's because I pushed quite hard on that one. Uh, I have an eraser or rubber for those of us who live in Australia. This is like a pencil eraser. So it's like, hang on, let me show you. That's the spare. Can't get it out of the packet. Plastic everywhere. Um, it is a eraser that is like pencil shaped. So it's quite useful to rub out. I don't know what the quality of the rubber is going to be. Um, you can push it in. It's kind of, kind of got, kind of, kind of kind of got that um uh stanley knife feel to it because that's what you can do with a stanley knife i don't know if you've got them other places but you've definitely got them here in australia uh, and you get a spare eraser to go with it it is it says pastel cookie pencil eraser it's from kokuyo which is the company that makes those glue dots that i like so i thought probably a safe bet um and you get that and it's a peach color it's, uh pretty similar to the peach color of the dot marker that I got. Just gonna put that over there with that. Oh, this is gonna be a long video. Not that that's an issue. Let's do stickers. Are these stickers? I think they're stickers. Um I got lots of stickers. I got more sticky notes. I should tell you those in a minute. Show you those in a minute. I'll tell you those. Oh my gosh. Oh I got so many stickers. Oop, another pack of sticky notes. This one's a rainbow moon. I'm not gonna I'm going to take it out and show you, but I'm not going to, like, pull one off and everything. Um, I thought I got three of these, so let's see if I can find the other one. Rainbow Moon, so it's a moon, but it's more pastel -y. It's like a war zone beside me. More stickers. There, sticky notes, memo pads. More, more stickers. More stickers. Another phone case. I didn't realise I got three. This one's a clear one with um, sculpt sides, so... Not nearly as pretty as the others, but I think it's going to be super cute with my um, peachy pink phone. Do I have more stickers? That's a day memo list. I don't know if that's stickers or not. So I'm going to pull them out as if they are stickers. Checklists. Oh my gosh. I, I know I got a lot of stuff. Um, and I spent probably as much as I would normally spend. That's going in there. Uh, would normally spend at Washi Gang, but look how much stuff I got. That's going to go in that pile. Um, I don't know if these are stickers or if these are like paper. So I'm going to grab them as well. Like the box is only half empty and this is the same amount that I would normally spend at Washi Gang for my Christmas present to myself. Um, this is a scrapbook kit um, called Day Whispers. I think it's I don't think it's called Day Whispers on the website, but that's what it says on the box. And it is, I'm not gonna get it all out because that's just too much. It is a connection, oh they are stickers. It's a collection of like thin paper washi stickers with different like day-to-day -day stuff. This one's got like strawberries on a plate. This one's got a coffee set, more food, and in various sizes. So you've got a whole lot in this square size and then some in this big size. That is super cute. Um, I'm not convinced these ones are stickers. I feel like these ones are just papers you'd have to stick down yourself, but very cute. Not sure how well you can see them on camera. I probably need something behind them. Glad I got them out with the stickers though, because some of them are. Um, and you get, it says day whispers, honeyed words in the daytime. Some of us get, uh, hang on, what does that say? Dipped in flat, some in satin, some in gloss. Oh, as in some of the stickers. 
Um, but every once in a while you find someone who is iridescent and when you do, nothing will ever come back. Okay, maybe that doesn't make sense, but it's a nice sort of thing. It says, may you live a sunny life. Um, tie flies, I'll always love you. It's just sort of a little picture of all the ones you get. Miss time, miss you, don't know. It's kind of got a very dark academia feel to it. So I think that's going to be fun to play with. Um, I'm not going to take these out because they're on a clear background. You're not going to really be able to see them. Um, Stationary Pal have their own sticker collection. And I grabbed all the science ones because, I don't know, I'm going to have to teach science this year, next year, this year. I'm not sure when this comes out. Um, and <laughs> I am really bad at science. It's not my it's not my area of expertise, nor my area of fun. So I thought I'd buy myself um, some stickers so I can put them in my planner and kind of excite myself. So here are the geography ones. You get geography and a whole lot of different um, stickers associated with it. So you've got some orienteering stuff, some maps, some globes, weather, different bits and pieces that all kind of link together. Um, my ring light's making that quite hard for you to see, I know. Um, I grabbed the math one. It's got different symbols, math equations, and then things you'll need in the classroom, like a protractor? No. Compass? Moving on. Um, abacus, you've got rulers and calculators and different types of graphs. And yeah, very cool. Different axes. So I, do, I can do maths. It's science that I struggle with. This is chemistry. So different like equations and um, models, all sorts of stuff. Little lab coat periodic table or elements at least and then physics it's got um, the big bang theory it's got physics it's got einstein e equals mc squared bazinga this one's very much inspired by the big bang theory got bazinga and the flash and all sorts of stuff but also has lots of um things that are associated with science we've got i'm going to bring this one up hopefully you can see it without a reflection that's schrodinger's cat is the cat alive or dead okay when I say I'm bad at science, I'm bad at everything but physics. Physics, I get. It's all maths. Maybe not all maths, but it's very much maths. Um, this one is um, Weekend Vibes. These are stickers, I think. Hang on. Yeah, they're fussy. They've got, um, um, not fussy cut, uh, kiss cuts around them. We've got Enjoy It All, Adventure, Are Forever. It should be Adventures Are Forever. Um. Uh, ooh, Friday. If you can't have fun, there's no sense in doing it. That's not what I intended. Good morning, Friday. Shake it off. Splendid. Rest. No, best. Um, that That's going to mess with my head, but I don't think it's a huge issue. The rest are all fine. Oops, we've got some deco stickers with um, faces. You get three pages of different sizes, um, and they're just sort of facial expressions. So you get like a meh, happy Sad, dead, and silly. Um, they're by Mr. Paper, which I think is cool, and you get them in the three sizes. I'm not going to take all these stickers out because, oh my gosh, I'm assuming. Oh, these are all different. Maybe I'm going to have to open this one. Ugh, and you get my usual struggle to open plastic. These are um, different stickers, different designs, all sorts of stuff. We've got, oh, some of these are vintage, some of them are the wrong way. Um, we've got some washi strips with like um, old fashioned script. We've got different ones. We've got some thin washi strips with spots. We've got some post stamp sort of things. Okay, they're pretty cool. They do smell funny, which is weird. They've got like a really paint like smell. Hopefully that goes away. Um, but also it's like teamwork and sale and peace. And so really good to layer, really good designs, different designs. And it's really cool, actually. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. It's not what I expected it to be. I thought they would all be this way, which I'd be okay with. Um, but yeah, that's that's really cool. I've got a huge mess over there. I've got a, hu I've got a huge mess everywhere. Um, these are paper stickers in a green. It says two lines of wizard. It's a bizarre thing to call it. Uh, I'm going to open it so I can show you a couple. I'm just going to... You got like a duck. Oh, actually, that's really cool. You got this duck going, oh my god. Uh, I'm in love with that sticker. I'm so glad it's the first one I pulled out. 
Um, we've got Fluffy Crew with a little puppy that's all fluffy. Who's your fluffy puppy? Um, like a, oops, it goes this way. Um, like a Polaroid design. That's a person dressed up as a duck. I'm going to do one more. Um, and this one says early summer in the mountains. And it's just like a little Polaroid design. So the picture in between. They are really cute. They are all green. Um, that one with a duck is hilarious. I like ducks. Ducks are cool. Um, this one just says uh, things. I think. Things. Chings. Not sure. With a heart like that, you deserve the world. That's cute. Not quite sure I get it, but anyway. Um, okay, that's cool. They are so very cute. They're green. I'm actually really glad I got those ones. Um, we've got a whole year of stickers. Start any time throughout the year. It's a complete 12 months. Um, I just thought that would be pretty cool to have. Um, so I'm just going to show you January. So it's got one for the month. And then one for each day. Let me pull out February so you can see that there's some blank ones for like months that don't have every day. There you go. Um, and they are thin washi like stickers on a plastic background. Let's see if I can pull one up. Uh, very thin washi like stickers. Not sure if how well you can see that. Um, and they've got every day, and then there's a little day of the week down the bottom so you could circle it or you could just leave it as it is um which is probably what i would do um although they are a little bit more obvious um february 14th is in red which i think is really cute january 1st is in red because that's an important day i imagine it's going to have like international holidays so christmas might be it's october it doesn't have uh halloween uh it does have December 22nd, I don't know what holiday that is, I'll look it up, and December 25th in red, I am literally just going like this to try and see, um, but yeah, you get a whole year's worth, I think that is super cool, be a good way to redate a planner, you can do it every day, um, it'd be a good way to do a bullet journal if you're like pro sticker, um, oh my gosh, uh, we've got another pack of the scrapbook sort of sticker set this one is pink it is memorable uh and you for the moon for the nigh uh, time flies i will always miss you memorable i think it's travel related uh so let's open it up and have a look just have a quick look at a couple um I think it goes that way. So we've got like a, um, that doesn't make it any better. What have I got? That doesn't help either. Um, like, uh, curtains in front of a window. We've got lots of pink. I think they're like little pearls, pink pearls. Um, lots of pink. I mean, that was the purpose of getting it. I wanted lots of pink. Um, we've got some toys. We've got a little statue of a girl. We've got a cafe with a cute little design. So same as the other one, a collection of different things, not travel related as far as I can tell, just general pink. So it makes me think the other one is like dark academia. This one's just general pinks. So yeah. Oh my gosh, this video is going to be so long. Um, I'm just going to show you the fronts of some of these. So some more stickers. These ones are like space underwater. Got some space whale, different bits and pieces. Um, they're really cute actually. Um, so excited for that. These are the travel ones. Um, I'm not going to open them because you actually can see underneath. But I think it's Roman holiday. Um, they're really cute. Just a whole lot of stickers and bits and pieces related to like a summer holiday. Some bunny stickers, strawberry rabbit, basically just all of those. Trying to cut down some time. I've got some stickers inspired by Vincent van Gogh's paintings. Um, everyone knows what they look like. Um, some more stickers. This one's Breakdown City. So it's, um, again, dark academia sort of theme. Um, you are more 
than what you have become. That's bizarre. Um, if you can't see you again, good morning. Oh, if I can't see you again, good morning, good afternoon, and good night. That's from the Truman Show. So just different bits and pieces. Um, they're really cute, actually. I think they look awesome. They'd probably go really well with that box of Dark Academia sort of stickers. This is called Mirror Mirror, and I don't know what they are. I mean, I bought them. I don't know what they are. They look like foiled lace design stickers. Oh my god, it's a bag inside a bag. Why would you do this to me? It's a bag inside a bag. Um, I don't really want to open them. Oh, it's already open. That does help. I'm just going to pull one out and see what it is. Oh, it's like like space foiled stickers. That's bizarre. Are they stickers? I think they're stickers. Oh my god, that took way too long. Five minutes later. Um, they are stickers. Um, they're quite thin, actually, compared to the backing plastic. Um, that one's got my fingerprints all over it, so I have to be very careful when I use these. It looks like it's a space band theme, um, you know, space, space, spaceman, rocket sort of theme. And they're all foiled. Um, I want to say hollow foil. Uh, does not tell me on the back. But there you got all the designs. So, very cute. Um, the one I pulled out was this one. Um, excited AF to have those. I don't know how I'm going to use them, but are these ones are just going to be butterflies in the same design, so I'm not going to pull them out, but they are exciting to use. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I, I obviously really wanted them. Um, let's do the memo notes. I'm pretty sure I got all of the set. So I've got a to-do list one, which is, it's definitely a sticky note, sticky down the bottom. Um, so that's really cool. And then, did I, get the, did I get all of the others? No, I got two of the to-do list, two of the weekly plan, and I think one of the other. Oh, no. So two of the to-do list, two of the daily plan, and two... Which one? Oh, I didn't get the checklist one. That's Oh, did I? No, I got different ones. Uh, two of the weekly plans, which I think are very cute, and I think they'll go really nicely in a planner. I think they'll fit really nicely in my pocket planner. Um, as like a little addition, be cool to have those in. Um, my pile is slipping, so if it just randomly falls down like an avalanche, that's why. Um, I grabbed two of these Hello I Am sticker books. I think they're sticker books, not sticker books, checklists, sticky notes, checklists. Um, so date, is it a to-do list, a checklist, a shopping list, and then all sorts of stuff. Just thought that they were really sweet. Uh, one for home, one for work. So always new places to write stuff down. This is the coolest thing that I found. This is like the first thing that went into my... Uh, the first thing that went into my cart. It is a polar bear going shopping. It is a sticky note. There are 20 of them. And I don't want to waste them. They're nice and thin. And I just thought that it's so cool. Um, so I, I really wanted that. And then I grabbed some more sticky notes. This one's a checklist um, that you can give like um, like ratings or something. I thought that would be really cool for like book reviews or film reviews or sort of stuff, events. And then a to-do list with fish on it because why not? Um, I grabbed this key ring because it was in the like the dollar store section and I think it came down to like 30 cents. And so... It is just a little key ring with a bunny, no, a teddy bear and a bunny, because why not? Um, very cute. Some of these are just because I really wanted them. Um, this is a bullet journal pack, so we'll open that in a minute. And then I grabbed some alphabet stamps. This is the end of the box, so I'm just going to move the box out of the way. I know, I'm telling you, I spent the same amount that I would normally spend at Washi Gang, which is between, which is usually about $150. Instead of buying like three sticker books, I bought all of this stuff. Um, these are alphabet stamps, like uppercase and lowercase. Where did my scissors go? I had them a second ago. There we go. Uh, let's open them. Don't know if they come with a stamp pad, so I don't know if I can text them. I don't think they do. So 28 pieces, alphabet, uppercase. Um, so you get the letters that don't come with a stamp pad. Ugh, you get the letters. 
Um, they look really cool. They just look like an old fashioned sort of typewriter font. And then you get a question mark and an exclamation mark. You get each of the letters. That's really cool. I'm going to assume mm, they actually smell like wood. So like varnished wood. I'm assuming that the lowercase is going to be the same, just in lowercase. It says school book antique stamps on it. So it makes me think that it's also going to be, oh no, different ones. Um, like just like an old fashioned typewriter font. So you get like A, looks like this. Um, and then you get the stamp. I don't think the stamps are very well attached. Um, easily fixed with some glue though. Have nail glue everywhere. And then you get like a colon and a, um, a bracket. Parenthesis. There we go. Use the proper words. Um, the box is, it's okay made. Like I'm, I'm not breaking it. You can see some glue on the inside and everything, but... In the scheme of things, I think they were $5 each. They might have been $8 each. Like, not worried. <sighs> oh, this video is like 45 minutes long and I'm not done. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, so this is a bag. It was in the bullet journal set section. I don't know if it's actually a bullet journal or just like journaling stuff. I looked at it, I looked very hard and I went, oh, this is really pretty. And then went, I'll just have that. I like the colors. I don't have a lot of orange and yellow in my life. So I thought it would be like a good thing to add. Ooh, that, that lid's come off that pen. I got another pen, one of these ones, that's cool. All right, so there's a bag. Um, I feel like that has leaked at some point, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll work out which one it is. Um, so it's just a bag, the stationary pal, um, cheap bag. That's fine. Didn't buy it for the bag. Um, so this is a sort of like a beginner's, oh, it's a corner eraser, a beginner's stationary setup or a theme setup. Um, you get some washi tapes. These are not as nice looking as the other ones. This one looks like it's got a cut in it. I'll have to pull that apart in a second. Um, but let's let's start with the washies. So you don't get as much with these as you do with the grid ones. That being said, you don't get like a tiny little amount. Um, they don't look like they've travelled all that well. So let's uh, let's see. Yeah, they don't look like they've travelled all that well. Yeah. Um, they have like a cut down here that's disappointing actually like super disappointing that these are not as nice as the other ones let's see if i can get past the cut um i like the orange spots i really do um okay that's a bit better maybe it's it's a little bit superficial like there is definitely some damage to it so i'm wondering if this is like seconds um or an oopsie like they put the oopsies in here it's a bit hard to tear. I think I've pulled the rest of that cut off. There's probably a little bit left. But yeah, definitely been sliced at some point. Um, so that's that. <clears throat> Talking for way too long. This one is in the same boat. Like it's got what looks to be a cut on it. But let's see if I can get it up and show you. This one's an orange diagonal stripe, which is super cute. Yeah, got the same damage to it. I'm not going to tear that one off because I can still use it even with the damage, but quite disappointed actually. Um, this one is the same, has the, the cuts in it. Um, if I can find where the tape starts, I will show you. Uh, there. Yeah, so like right through where the tape starts, so very hard to get the tape up. destroying it trying to get it up um okay super super disappointed on this one guys and i can't even work out what would do that i didn't get anything with a blade i didn't think they'd ship uh, a craft knife to us in australia to be honest i figured it would get stuff at customs yep yeah, so it very cut up very very damaged um disappointing absolutely can you see how let's see maybe not very deep but definitely damaged um 
which is so upsetting. I really like this washi tape. I'm like, oh, that is so cool. Like in a summer set, like a summer setup with some like, uh, like sun, sun and beach and all sorts of stuff. This one doesn't appear to have any damage. This is a, like a check, picnic check, tartan check. Where does this end go? I just saw it. Here we go. And of course, I'm going at it the wrong way. Um, much easier to get up from the others. No damage at all. So, okay. Three out of four were damaged. One of them was not. Quite disappointing. Quite disappointing. Um, another lot of the dot liner glues. Um, this one's in yellow. Different to the others. This is a uh, eraser. Rubber, if you're in Australia. And it's got different shapes. So it's a 90 degree and 245 degrees. So you get a nice, like, tight... Um, if you just want to like rub out a single line, not want to rub out a whole page, I think that's really cute. Um, you can open it up and move them around so like when this edge gets rubbed down, you can move it to up here or over there or sorts. Um, so that's cute. I don't know if I'll get a lot of use out of it, but it's pretty nonetheless. Um, some watercolour. I feel like these are just um, like it's... Oh, they're perforated. So it looks like it's a sticky note that's perforated. So you could use it as a full sticky note. Um, it's not very good perforation. Just going to put that out there. Ugh. Oh, ooh, it's very bad perforation. Hang on. <coughs> um, and it's just like I've seen people get these and like cut them out, um, which would be cool, um, and glue them down. I, I wouldn't rely on that to, to stay. I like the colours, though. Really like the colours. Um, so that's that. What's this? Oh, this is a little storage box. Hang on. I'm going to set this up. That's a little basket. That's super cute. Um, I now want them in every colour. I think it looks like they're stackable. Um, you get a little rubber duck with this. So, like... Um, to give you some context on size, here are four standard size washi tapes, and you probably could fit, hang on, I'll grab another one. You could definitely fit five, where'd those little ones go? Five and a little one, quite comfortably. They'll roll around, but they're not gonna like fall out. Um, you could put it this way, whatever. That's very cool. Um, super cute, actually, really love that. I think it's where my sticky notes are gonna live. All of them, all the sticky notes I bought because I bought a lot of sticky notes. Don't, don't normally buy so many sticky notes. Um, a new ruler. Um, and it's got what looks like a horse attached to it. I am not a horse fan. I am like, anti, I'm not anti-horse. And I grew up on a farm in Australia. You'd think I'd have a pet, a pet horse, like my own horse. I don't like horses. Um, it does fit though. And... I can get it out. Um, I am going to be uh, cease to struggle and you cease to live. Okay, nice, nice thought. I'm going to be really snobby and actually make sure it lines up with um, centimetres, not just supposed to look like centimetres. It's not 100% accurate. Like if I go, like it's really not accurate. I'm looking at it going, it is out by probably a mil. So, um, at the moment, zero to one, not working. One to two, fine. Two to three, fine. Three to four is a bit out. Four to five is out. So it's not, I wouldn't use it for like being super accurate. Be a right edge, but not, not an accurate ruler. Um, gotta say this, this is the most disappointing part of the whole thing. Not impressed at all. Um, we have some... Oh, they're all different. Are they all different? No, maybe they're not all different. We have here some uh, little, I don't even know what you would call these. Um, they're like ephemera, basically. Um, and they don't tear very well at all, so you would need to cut them. Um, and you get three on each page. I'm just going to finish cutting this one off very badly, obviously. Um... And they're, oh, actually, no, you don't get three on each page. This one, you only get two. Um, and you get one, two, three, 
four, four of that design, and then one, two, three, four, five, maybe four or five, anyway. And then Lily of the Valley, one, two, three, four, five, and then back to the start. So I would say maybe you get, so one, two, three, four. You get a, a obscure amount of each of them. Um, the Some of them are textured. So this little daisy is textured. The lily of the valley one is um, very smooth. So, you know what? Not a bad mix. A bit different. Not quite sure how I'm going to use them, but pretty nonetheless. Um, another set of the stationary power stickers. This one's called Roman Holiday. Um, it does not remind me of the film Roman Holiday, but maybe I just because I haven't seen it in a very long time. Um, very, that's nice. Obviously goes with the yellow. You get a campus notebook. Um, if you haven't seen these before, this is Kakuyu. The paper is treated. Um, it'll be a really good, um, like just journal to put around. Uh, you can't add pages to it. Some of the Kakuyu ones you can, like they've got a, a click system like the Muji ones. Um, I like the Muji covers. I do not like their paper. I feel like I'm gonna like this paper more. Um, so it's got a soft ring, it's lined, it's, it is treat, like it's very smooth. It's definitely got a coating, not an issue. And now that I've got that open, I'm going to use it as an opportunity to try all the pens that came in this, which I think is probably the biggest draw point. Um, here's the yellow that I feel like has been leaking. The color is Castella. All right, maybe not too bad. Um, it's going to go nicely with these. Um, so now I have four. I just need a black one and I think I'll be set. Um, a yellow mild liner. Um, I would say it's a, I don't, I don't have colors on it. It's definitely one of the fluoro ones though, um, but not super fluoro. So not like a, uh, more of these wax things, uh, not um, super fluoro like a highlighter you just buy from a supermarket here in Australia. We've got a black, sorry, a, a Uniball 0.5 pen in yellow. So not black. That's super cool, actually. Now I want those in every color. Uh, 0.5, really nice to write with. Um, so the barrel's smooth until you get to where like the pen bit is, and then it's got like a little bit of texture to keep a grip. Here's a Muji 0.5. I have a couple of these in black and in 0.38 as well. It's orange. Um, it's lovely. Don't have any orange pens, so that's a good thing. Um, I have this uh, Pilot Juice 0.5 in yellow. I can see because it's a um, clear barrel that it's gonna be a yellow pen. It's um, a different yellow to the others. So if I do this, you can see that it's a paler color than this. This is more gold and this is definitely more yellow. And then a yellow brush pen. This is a, I don't even know what brand this is. So. I'm going to try and do brush lettering. Not going to work well. Oopsies. Yep. My brush lettering needs work, but it's a yellow brush pen. There are the pens up close. Um, I am now in love with this pen. Wanted in every color. I'm um, going to have to get in a black to see if I can use it in my planner because I feel like that's going to be my pen of the year. Um, it doesn't feel as juicy as my other favorite pens. I like the Sarasa Clip um, and I also like the, um, what are they? What is my favorite pen? The Pilot G2.5. Um, this one always feels like, I love this pen, but it always feels like it's cutting into the page when the paper's not of great quality, whereas this one does not have that same feeling. Um, 
But yeah, that's uh, that's it. That's all the stuff I got. So this is all the stuff that I got. Um, you cannot see all of it because it is like spread as well. I think this side I'm pretty good, but this side's all sort of spread out. Yeah. Um, there is a probably because it was the Black Friday sale. I could got to get a lot of things on sale. I would say it's. I think I spent one hundred and fifty dollars. Um, and that's how much I would normally spend at Washi Gang. So, um, if I compare it to what I've spent previously, you get significantly more if you buy from Stationery Pal. Um, of all the stuff I grabbed, most of it I'm pretty happy with. There's a couple of pieces that are definitely really cheap. Um, and that I'm like, oh, not particularly happy I got this. Um, the the what was this this was the um bullet journal sort of pack that's probably the bit that i found to be the most disappointing um because the washi had all been damaged um i'm happy with some of the stuff i got in there this little box is very cute the pens are fantastic i feel like i've got a new favorite pen if only it came in black so i'm gonna be back on the website having a look um Lots of stickers, lots of sticky notes. I think lots of things that are quite different to what I've bought previously. Um, so that kind of inspires me to do some different stuff. I think that's going to be fun. Oh, I didn't put the phone cases in. A couple new phone cases. So um, just different bits and pieces that will um, be really great for 2023. This is a super long video. Oh my gosh. Um, thank you so much for watching and sticking to this part. Like, oh my gosh, well done. Um, yeah, thank you again, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye.